This is an interesting class of people coming in because in the past couple, you know, there was somebody that perhaps in this generation will recognize. That having been said, this is kind of a group of builders, I would think. Comment just kind of generally on this group. Yeah, this is the group that people in Hershey would appreciate if they like history, because these are the guys that help build the franchise. And I think, too, uh, now that we see a goaltender that will come out with 25 pounds of equipment on, we forget that they had a different kind of 25 pounds before that did not include a mask and included deer hair pads that would get all soaked with perspiration and be twice as heavy as when the game began. And, and guys that were tremendously productive at a time that you don't think of 40 goal scores, well, Dunk was one. And so this is a, a part of our culture that it never hurts to relearn. And of course, Brent Hancock, uh, there isn't anyone that was around him that wasn't, uh, that didn't marvel at his stability and how well he came back from that awful car crash at the parade in Pittsburgh and, and was continually just a pleasantly crusty individual. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Um, you, of, of all the people, certainly have a great appreciation of the history. There's not a lot of American Hockey League teams, or even NHL teams, could pull something like this off. No, because they don't have the, the depth of background. Um, we were just in Minnesota this past week, and the Boston Bruins have been around since 1924. Minnesota Wild since the year 2000. They can't do what they don't have. They don't have a history that goes back only 14 years. But the Bruins have it, and they use it a lot. And the Bears have that history, and they use it a lot. And they use it in a classy way. There isn't anybody here that's representing one of these recipients, and sadly they, they couldn't all be here, that doesn't have a smile on their face because they know that even though they aren't the person honored, that whoever's being honored was important and is recognized as being important. And I think that means a lot to family members when that person has passed, that they were remembered and they were treated with importance. And my NHL question was gonna at first be the Winter Classic or perhaps how everybody's playing, but the storyline has been this bizarre mumps story. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> I was just in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, it, it's odd when you think that we've got all of these things solved and we've had them solved since we were little kids, right? And here came another case. So we had to go back to basics and talk to a doctor and say, look, what is, he said, as soon as you have another one diagnosed and one was diagnosed in Pittsburgh, you reset the clock for the whole team for three and a half weeks and they are not considered clean for another three and a half weeks. And if another case comes up, you reset the clock again. And the thing is, if you take good care of your own team, and there's nothing flawless about this, really, and then you play a team and there's a guy that's carrying it and doesn't know it and may not know it for another week and a half before he starts to show symptoms, then maybe you get it. And the one doctor I talked to in Lacrosse, Wisconsin said, let's pretend that you're at the bench and you shield a cough or a sneeze with your glove. You're doing it to prevent it from spreading to your teammates, right? Then you go out and give the other guy a face wash. You may not even think about it, but if you're carrying, you just send it somewhere else. <laughs> it's it, it's going to be hard to stop it, but fortunately with all of these booster shots that everyone's getting, at least the spread might get stopped. <laughs>